Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to work on a section called Featured, which is going to display featured products. So first of all here, I'm going to create a new section. I'm going to say here, I'm going to add a comment first. And then I'm going to say Featured. And then Featured. And then I'm going to create a section here. I'm going to say Section. And I'm going to give this section an ID, and the ID is going to be featured. Featured. And then inside that uh, featured, we need a dev. We need here to create a dev. And for this dev, I'm going to give it first a class called container, which which is as norm as usual. This class is going to add a container is going to add a, a padding and margin from the right and left. And I'm going to also say here text center because I want to center the text text center but let me let me work on this later because I want to show you how these classes are gonna affect the design and uh, inside that dev first of all I want to display here a I'm gonna say h3 uh, and then I'm gonna say our featured products or just our feature and then I'm going to display HR, which is a separator. It's just a separator. And uh, below this, I'm going to display a paragraph. Here below this HR, I'm going to say P. And I'm going to add here uh, some text. I'm going to say here you can check out our new products or featured products. Featured broad. Let me save and let me uh, refresh. So if I refresh, as you can see here, it's being displayed here. But first of all, I want to display this in the middle. Therefore, I'm going to say here for this container, I'm going to say text uh, center. Text center. And I also want to add margins from the top and uh, da from the top and bottom and from right and left and that can be done using the uh, margin top 5 which is a bootstrap class and the padding y which is going to add a padding from um, uh, the top and bottom and also i'm going to add the uh, i'm going to add the padding and margin to the section itself so for the section itself i'm going to say class and then I'm going to say my5 and pb5. So this is a margin 5 to the top and bottom, and this is for the bottom. This is a padding to the bottom. pb5, pb5. Now let me show you the difference. As you can see, it's going to be displayed in the middle, which looks amazing. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to work on the featured products. So to, to do that, I'm going to create the uh, the products. And to create the products, we need a dev. And we need to give this dev a class called raw in order to create a raw that will contain several products. So I'm going to say raw here. And uh, uh, and inside that raw, uh, first I'm going to create the first product by, saying, by creating a dev. And I'm going to give this dev a class uh, called product product which is going to be my class that I'm going to work on shortly and I am going to say column lg3 which means that each product will take three columns out of 12 if the screen is large if the screen is medium I'm going to say column md and then four which means that the the product, each product would take four columns out of 12 if the screen is medium, medium screen sizes. For medium screen sizes, for small screens, I would say here, call SM12, which means that for small screens, each product would take 12 columns, 12 out of 12, which means that if the, sm if the screen is small, only one product would be displayed. Uh, so inside that, inside the, th the product, we need an image for, for, for the product. So I'm going to say image, and, and I'm going to give it also a class. The class is, is the, marg is the uh, 
image uh, fluid which is a bootstrap class again and the margin I'm gonna give it also margin bottom three and uh, I'm gonna say here source and I'm gonna keep this empty for now uh, shortly I'm gonna add an image below the image we want below the image we want a text so I'm gonna create a, a there for that text and I'm gonna say um, I'm gonna say here uh, let me use instead of the text let me say let me instead of dev I'm gonna say here uh, h5 and for the h5 I'm gonna give it a class and that class is gonna be p name and here I'm gonna display the uh, name of the uh, product so let me here say sports And below this, I'm gonna create, I'm gonna use the H4 to display the price. So I'm gonna say here H4, and I'm gonna give it a class, and that class would be P would be named P price. And then I'm gonna say here, uh, I'm gonna type a price. Let me say here. This price, and uh, below I'm gonna display a button. I'm gonna say here button. So for this button, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna say buy now, and I'm gonna also give it a class, class buy now. Let me save and uh, let me head over to the browser, uh, and let me here name it instead of buy now. Let me say buy button, because otherwise I wouldn't know that this is a button. Buy button. Let me now save and refresh. And uh, as you can see, the product will be displayed here, but we still need to work on the design. So first of all, we need to add margin and padding. So to add a margin and padding, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add margin and padding to the here to the to this dev to this raw itself. The raw itself, I'm going to say mx auto. So this is going to uh, center center each. Uh, product so it's gonna add here uh, some space here from the left and right so that it will be centered however it will be centered but but also the the there will be here space and this is gonna be applied to the raw itself it's not gonna be applied to each product so it will look amazing um, uh, shortly shortly when I refresh you will see what this is gonna do to the uh, to the to the raw and I'm going to also give it container, I'm going to say here container fluid, which is going to also add some space. Container fluid. This is a bootstrap class, which is going to add uh, a, uh, some space from the right and left. And make sure that the, the things will be displayed perfectly. And uh, for for this, for, for, for the text, I want to center the text. And to center them, we need here to say text center. This is going to center the text. So this is for for uh, for this part. And uh, for uh, for here, we want. Let me check this one here. We need text center. We need to center this, and we need to add margin. We added margin. Everything is perfect. Let me save and let me refresh now. And uh, as you can see, it's going to look amazing. It's going to be uh, displayed here. Now what we need to do is that we need to display the image. So I have some images, and let me show you the images that I have. So I have this folder which contains some images. I'm going to uh, add these images to my project. So here I'm going to here I'm going to open this, and then I'm going to open the uh, images. And for the images, for this section, we have the featured. So I have here uh, four featured images. I'm going to move each one here to this uh, images uh, folder. One, and then two, and then three, and, and then four. So we will have four images. Now what I'm going to do is that, let me close all of these. Let me close down all of these tabs. Here we need to say source. And then for the source, I'm going to say uh, assets for slash 
images for slash featured one featured one jpeg let me now save now let's head on over to the browser to test so as you can see it's gonna look amazing now we have only one product but we want to create here three other products so to do this we don't need to do anything anything special all we need to do is that we need to copy this uh, part and uh, and uh, uh, paste it four times because for paste it three times because we already have one however I'm gonna here before I do this I'm gonna display here some stars so stars for reviews so to do this I'm gonna say here I'm gonna uh, create here a dev called uh, that has a class called star I'm gonna say class star and then I'm gonna use a uh, a font awesome uh, star so I'm gonna say here I and then for this I I'm gonna give it a class and that class is a boot is a not a bootstrap it's a font awesome class called FAS font awesome and then FA font awesome star Font awesome star and then I'm gonna repeat this five times because I want to display five stars one two three four five now let me show you how this would look like as you can see we have here one two three four five stars which looks amazing so this is for this section um, finally I'm gonna repeat these four times and then I'm gonna work on the design so in order to repeat uh, this we just need to copy this part we need to start copying from here so from here I'm gonna copy from here and then I'm gonna paste this one two and three and I'm gonna change the images so the first image is featured one the second image is featured two and the third image is featured three and the last image is featured four let me now save and let me refresh and as you can see we will have one two three four and they look amazing uh, now I'm gonna work on the design so I'm gonna head on over to CSS let me open up CSS and uh, in CSS now we need to start working on the design so remember we have a class called container uh, we have a class called uh, product remember we have here a class called product this product this product so we need to work on this this product is the dev that contains the complete uh, product so here at the bottom I'm gonna here add a comment and then I'm gonna say product so for the product section I'm gonna create I'm gonna say here dot product and then first I'm gonna give this product a cursor I'm gonna say uh, cursor pointer cursor pointer which is gonna make this uh, pointer which is gonna make the item clickable cursor pointer will make this icon clickable whenever you hover over it it's gonna be clickable so this is for the product and I'm gonna also give it margin bottom so I'm gonna add here some margin because I want this margin for the uh, in order not to interfere with the next section so I'm gonna say margin bottom to rim and then I'm gonna work on the image I'm gonna say product product image and the image I'm gonna give this image a transition transition of 0.3 seconds all and upon hovering on the image I'm gonna say here product and then hover if I hover over the product I'm gonna change the opacity of the image so I'm gonna say image I'm gonna say product hover which means that if I hover over the product here the image will have a different opacity I'm gonna say here here opacity opacity and the opacity is gonna be 0.7 let me save and let me now uh, head on over to the browser and refresh 
and uh, if I hover as you can see the opacity will be 0.7 which looks amazing